LF is a minimalistic but highly extensible terminal file manager. It does not do much by default and instead is configured with simple shell script, which means that you can extend it with all kinds of useful CLI tools. The more you use it, the more cool aliases and functions you come up with, which require more and more additional dependencies. For traditional Linux systems, this usually means having large personal installation scripts with those specific dependencies listed in a huge and hard to maintain list. So today, we are going to configure LF with Nix Home Manager and get a simple but highly refactorable configuration that you can also bring with you to any other distro or even macOS. We are going to use Home Manager, so in case you don't have it configured, check out the Home Manager video on the channel. Preferably create a separate module for LF, and let's start the configuration with enabling LF with a simple programs.lf.enable equals true. Adding LF to packages is sufficient to install it, but this way also lets Home Manager generate configuration for it. We will begin by adding a commands field, which can hold all of our custom commands that we can later assign to keys. Similarly to LF's standard syntax, we are assigning commands to values, except instead of using CMD keyword, we are just defining fields in a set. I am using multi-line strings for all of my commands, because you don't have to escape any double or single quotes this way. Here is one example command you might want, it has two dollar signs in the beginning, but the syntax is pretty much the same as the regular LFRC one. So far so good, but LF also supports multi-line commands, which can be defined in this dollar sign and then double curly braces syntax, which will definitely conflict with our new configuration because it looks a lot like Nick string interpolation. To fix this issue, let's just escape the dollar sign with two single quotes. Alright, we moved our commands to Home Manager, but what are the benefits? The first command I have here is using xdragon program, also known as dragon or drag and drop. I've talked about it on the channel more than a year ago, it simply lets you drag and drop files from the terminal. The only problem is, we cannot assume that it is installed on the machine of whoever happens to use this file. You probably don't want to maintain a list of hundreds of small programs that your scripts may or may not even use anymore, and what if somebody wants to try out your configuration? Are you going to cherry pick dependencies for them? Of course not, we can simply tell Nix to take the binary from the package with this familiar syntax. And the next thing is our key bindings. You can already see a lot happening here, because I've included specific examples to better showcase this Nix set syntax. Use this crazy string to denote double quote key, put the dot, backtick or any field that includes special symbols in the string, and a single quote does not need to be escaped in double quotes, so it can look like this. We can assign these keys to an empty string to unbind them, built-in LF or user-defined commands just by using their names, or even undefined scripts by adding a dollar sign in the beginning. This command right here opens bat in a paging mode, and because it needs to have a dollar sign in the beginning, and also a dollar sign to interpolate the package path into the string, Nix gets confused and escapes both of them. We can fix it simply by unescaping those two dollar signs with more double single quotes. Defining LF settings is super simple, just check the manual by running man home configuration.nix and look for programs.lf.settings. There you can check out data types of your desired options and then correctly assign them in the settings field. I've added a couple of good ones to this configuration that you can also find in the description by the way. And one of them is enabling icons. LF supports file type specific icons and it sources them from a .config slash lf slash icons file. Home manager configuration does not seem to have a special option for that, but it's not going to stop us because we can simply link a file there with this xdg.config file field. lf slash icons here is the part that comes after full xdg config path and dot slash icons looks for icons file in the same directory as the current nix file. This means that we need to get an icon file from somewhere, and luckily it is not something that has to be updated frequently, so we don't have to automate fetching it from the internet. Simply use this command to download official lf icons example from git once and put it in the current directory. Perfect. The only thing that we are missing now is a previewer. Home manager configuration provides a way to set it as an option, but to showcase some more cool features and also include a cleaner script, let's use the extra config field, where we can dump all of the options that are not present in the default home manager configuration. We could just link the previewer and cleaner scripts into .config, but let's do something even cooler. Nobody said that those two files have to be in the same directory as lfrc, so we are going to use let and in syntax to define two scripts with write shell script bin. I took these two scripts from LF's wiki and interpolated the binaries inside with Nix. It is using Kitty's image protocol to display images, which also works in West term. This is my favorite image previewing solution on Wayland right now, but if you know any other cool ways to achieve it, let me know in the comment section. 
As you can see, the dollar signs are also escaped here, and in case the file under the cursor is not an image, the previewer script is going to use Pistol instead. Pistol is a general purpose previewing program, which I chose to use because I don't feel like maintaining a 100 line script for all of the possible mime types. Now that the scripts are ready, let's just let LF know where they are with this standard LF syntax. Rebuild the home manager configuration and let's check out the LFRC that was generated from our Nix file. All of our settings and options are here, and each command that is using a specific binary is pointing to some Nix store path. And what about our cleaner and previewer scripts? They are also here, and if you are using them, you can use a GF key sequence to go and check them out. And now, I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Victor Vintores for a 20 euro per month subscription, Postkins for a 10 euro per month subscription, Linux Rocks for a 10 euro per month subscription, not a nut for a 5 euro per month subscription, and also JerOM for a 50 euro recent donation, Coffee Supporter for a 10 euro recent donation, Gate and LePage for a 5 euro recent donation. I sincerely hope that I am not mispronouncing your name, please correct me in the comments if I do. And Yogurt for a 1 euro recent donation. It's crazy to think that exactly 3 months ago this channel had less than 80 subscribers and has grown so much since. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.